Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. Today, we're going to look at a couple of tools, uh, Google Whisk uh, and Say What You See, uh, which I found helpful for writing prompts. It's a very weird uh, uh, thing, uh, but it, it works for writing prompts for images. Um, Google Whisk came out in mid-December of 2024. Um, uh, it, uh, you know, it has kind of some mixed uh, uh, reviews. Uh, it's not all that practical for journalism, but I found a couple of things that it might be useful for maybe product design or testing. Uh, maybe you want to test how a logo looks as a sticker or something like that. It allows you to mix multiple images together uh, and it creates a prompt from mixing the images together rather than writing a prompt to mix uh, the image, to uh, create the image. Um, so this little step-by-step -step here that I've got on this handout, in the link to the handouts uh, right here, bit.ly slash Google image prompts, uh, it's right here. Um, so if you want to hit pause and open up that document, you'll have this document handy for you. The link to the Google tool, Whisk, is right here. Um, so hit pause and take a second to open that up, uh, as well as this tool at the bottom, Google Say What You See Prompt Writing. All right, welcome back. Uh, you should now have this handout open. Uh, make sure you've opened up Google Whisk. Uh, you can log into Google Whisk um, through your uh, Gmail credentials. Um, and you'll come to this prompt page. And what it allows you to do, and you know, it's just an experimental tool, it's still in beta. Um, it allows you to uh, choose a plushie, an ammo pin, or a sticker. And you can combine uh, uh, something as a style, you can add your own image and drop it in here, style and subject, and then you get an image. Now this is kind of their, their basic uh, uh, startup, just to kind of train you on how to use it. Uh, start from scratch button down here at the bottom. I will actually give you full control. We'll get to that interface in a minute. Um, so uh, it, th that's the style that you'll know, make a sticker. It's a st uh, style that will look like this. Uh, and we'll pick the, you know, the, the bear. Why not? I'm a Bears fan. Um, and then it'll mix them together. The style is the sticker and then the uh, bear. It takes a second and then boom, you get a sticker of a bear. Or you can bring in, you know, your own logo or image uh, and it'll show what it should look like in a, uh, uh, in, in, as a sticker. Or you can change it to a plushie or whatever. Uh, then you can open it up in the tool, which is basically start uh, from scratch. I'll open it up in the tool. Uh, and there's your images of the, uh, you know, the bear, uh, which you can download. These are all rights free. Uh, it does give you refined tools. It also gives you another thing here, scene, a location where you can type in a prompt or you can upload an image of if you want a bear in a forest or a bear, uh, you know, uh, in the streets of Manhattan, you know, whatever you want to add there. Um, and you uh, these save into a little library, which you have in the upper right hand corner. Um, you can add additional details down here, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, it just as a basic prompt. Uh, and uh, have it, uh, you know, uh, I can type in, it suggests here, you know, uh, have the bear eating an ice cream cone. And what it's teaching you is basic structure for a uh, uh, image, um, uh, subject, location, style, uh, and then action too. So now I get one of the bear uh, you know, uh, eating the ice cream cone. I can click on it and it shows me then the bear. And then what it did was take my two images and that little short prompt I typed in. Uh, and here's the full prompt to really give it that type of detail. Um, and notice, you know, uh, it uses much more descriptive writing than I used or even the, the images provided. The bear's fur is rich brown and lighter highlights. Its eyes are bright and mischievous. Uh, you know, and I don't know if the, the, you know, got the eyes just right, but this is what it was reading into it when it moved the Im images, when I moved the images in uh, and also added that little text on the side. So it can be helpful with, you know, people that are new to writing uh, prompts, just a fun way to get them involved and be able to see the outcome. Because some of us are more visual learners, others are more linear. 
Um, I'm a little combination of both. Um, so, you know, I, I look at the structure of a, a prompt and then just kind of add my details as I go. But it usually takes me two or three times in mid-journey to get something right. So, you know, WISC is a good starter uh, tool for, you know, just a basic, basic understanding a basic stru structure of a prompt. Adjective, noun, verb, uh, you know, who, what, uh, and where, you know, uh, at, at my context is he's partying at a Waffle House and to make it ultra realistic, look like it's real. Um, and then my prompt is down here, Star Wars Chewbacca partying like a rock star in a crowded Waffle House uh, style. The image is ultra realistic. And I, you know, I could go into greater detail too, but, you know, it gave me this pretty fun image. Now, if I was missing Star Wars and just had Chewbacca in there, uh, it would give me you know, a, a different looking Wookiee. It wouldn't uh, mash, uh, you know, uh, the Star Wars Wookiee. Uh, and of course, you know, you have to uh, be careful of licensing and things like that with, uh, you know, creating these images as always. Uh, but just so you understand the basic structure of a prompt, subject, verb, object, which is kind of how we write SEO headlines, uh, working in the adjective, location, and then, of course, your style. You know, do you want it shot with a certain camera lens? Uh, do you want it as an oil painting? Do you want it as a watercolor? You know, ultra realistic, you know, make it look like it was shot, uh, you know, uh, with a camera. Uh, so, you know, that that's the basic prompt writing. Another good tool. So Whisk, you know, kind of gets you in that mode of, of, you know, uh, uh, writing that uh, prompt. What's interesting about this one of the bear on the left, notice the different colors of the cone, uh, and it actually goes perhaps strawberry or blue raspberry. You're suggesting the, the you know, it matched the, you know, uh, the type of ice cream cone pretty closely, whereas this one over here, it didn't really matter. Um, so WISC can be a good tool at kind of teaching you those prompts if you just play around with them for a little bit, especially if you have students, uh, you know, who are using it, uh, image prompts for the first time, or if they're, uh, you know, somebody in the newsroom is being, that is new to uh, creating uh, AI-driven images with large language models, like a mid-journey or Adobe Firefly or something like that. Um, here's another good tool. This is uh, Google Say What You See. Um, it's linked off of our little handout here, um, right at the bottom. Um, another Google tool helpful for writing prompts, Google Say What You See prompt. Um, and this one requires you to do some writing. So it shows you an example here, a painting of a dog in a field. And it grades you. You have to have 50% uh, match to pass. Uh, but it challenges you to write a prompt uh, that describes the image it gives you. So you're writing descriptively to an existing image, which is very interesting. Um, and this is one that I just did. Level one, it gives you this gradient of turquoise uh, down into light pink. Um, uh, and uh, here's the prompt that it gave, minimalist, uh, minimalist painting, you know, uh, the one I wrote, and I didn't initially see this, a gradient of colors that change vertically from turquoise at the top to light pink at the bottom, and it didn't do it vertically, you know, uh, like I told it to here. So, yeah, it gave me a 73% match. I got a passing grade, you know, way to go. Um, it gets even more interesting when you hit next, um, and, yeah, you can describe this as, you know, uh, I, I would do this as, this is a new one, um, a wallpaper with pink background, green fern leaves, almost looks like marijuana plants, but I'll, I'll uh, do fern leaves, uh, uh, you know, uh, spread throughout the foreground. Gives you 140 or 120 characters here. So you have to be succinct in your writing. Uh, and then hit the generate button. Um, and then see how well you do. See what your grade is and how close the image came to it. Um, you know, 71% match. Here's where the pastel toned. And I went with pink instead of pastel. I didn't quite hit the color. Uh, print of palm fonts on a pink background. Okay. Um, you know, so, uh, you know, it, it came somewhat close to it. You can keep going with these. It'll do all kinds of different stuff. Uh, you know, a bowl of noodles and broth with an egg vegetables. See how I do there. And again, just write as descriptively as you can and uh, you know, see how you do. 
Okay, 87, a little, little better, you know, came a little closer to it. I probably could have told it where the egg, where I wanted the egg to go. You know, round bowl, described the bowl maybe a little bit better. Um, maybe said the noodles are curly. Um, if I knew the specific types of vegetable, green vegetables, I could have uh, uh, put those in there. It's got kind of a funky shaped bowl here up in the upper left corner. Um, but, you know, it came somewhat closer, gave it an 87% match. Um, so again, subject, verb, object, structure, um, you know, uh, adjective, noun, verb, context, you know, meaning location or what the person's doing uh, and, and style, uh, how you want it to look. Um, and those tools, uh, WISC and uh, Say What You See are good starters uh, for learning how to do that. Um, I have some more tools down here at the bottom, uh, image creation tools from the journalist toolbox. You can click on those, it'll take you to the journalist toolbox page. Image creation tools are right here. I have dozens of them up here, including several training videos as well on how to use the tools. Um, so take advantage of that. Uh, we also have a YouTube channel with uh, several videos. Uh, including this one uh, on how to use various AI and other tools. Uh, we also have a newsletter um, that's published every other Tuesday morning uh, around 8 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, usually covers one topic and has some other tools and training videos built into it. You can get through it in about five minutes, pretty quick read. Uh, and also, uh, you can contact me through uh, Twitter. Um, it's linked off the right rail of the uh, Toolbox website, uh, as well as uh, Blue Sky, which I'm spending a lot more time there now, uh, Blue Sky Social, and all those links to everything are under my Engage uh, button here or uh, tab here. Newsletter, training videos, Blue Sky, Twitter. Um, I also have a chat bot, too, that you can go in and ask it questions. It's trained on the content of the website. So um, uh, best of luck uh, with your image prompt writing. Um, uh, do uh, tweet at me or send me examples of what you come up with uh, using these tools. Remember, you can download the images out of WISC. Um, again, you know, for journalistic work, I, I probably wouldn't use it that much, but for training people on how to write uh, AI image prompts, I think it could be really, really a uh, good tool. It's only been out a little under a month uh, in Gemini. It's powered by Gemini AI and Imagine, um, a couple of Google tools. Um, so hopefully this video is helpful for you. Stay tuned for the next one.